Hey y'all, welcome back to Homemade Simple. If we've not met before, I'm Lori. I'm really glad to be back in the kitchen with you talking about some frugal, healthy family meals. I've got three meals that I'm really excited about sharing with you this week. I have used a rotisserie chicken in all of these recipes. That makes it really frugal and inexpensive. Also makes them very easy. All of these meals were really simple to put together. They all cost right around five or six dollars for the family to eat a really healthy, nutritious dinner. And I think that if you give them a try, you're gonna be really excited about how good they taste. So let's go ahead and get started. For our first meal today, I'm going to make some fajita quinoa bowls. I thought this was a really interesting idea. I've never tried it before, but it ended up being so good. I'm trying to focus this fall on more healthy whole food options that still will really fit well within our grocery budget. So when I came across this idea, I thought it was perfect for what I'm trying to do. I'm going to start by chopping up some fresh vegetables, some bell peppers, and I had also put away some onions that I had grown in my garden earlier this year. So I'm going to start by chopping all of that up, and I'm going to saute the bell peppers and onions in an iron skillet. While I'm sauteing the onions and bell peppers, I'm also going to start heating up some water to make the quinoa. If you're not familiar with quinoa, it's like an ancient grain, pretty similar to rice. So it was a good option for my family because some of my family doesn't really like to have rice all the time. They like to have different options. So while my vegetables are cooking, I'm going to try to chop up my rotisserie chicken. I think I need to take some kind of class about how to process rotisserie chickens. I've told you this before, but I'm pretty new to rotisseries, so I'm still trying to learn how to process them without it looking like I'm attacking them. Maybe I'll learn soon. I'm just going to chop the chicken up into chunks. Now it's time for me to add the quinoa and a little bit of oil to the hot water. My bell peppers and onions are cooking up really nicely, so I'm going to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of cumin to them. Once they are sauteed and everything is soft, I'm going to remove them from the skillet, but I'm going to keep all of the good flavor that's there in the bottom of the skillet. I'm going to add a couple of cups of water and just try to dissolve all of that baked in flavor. And then after I dissolve that pretty well in the water, I'm going to add the rotisserie chicken into the iron skillet. This is going to ensure a really flavorful chicken without having to add a lot of extra ingredients. While that is cooking and finishing up, I'm going to add some water to my crock pot and I'm going to put the chicken bones and skin into the crock pot to make some chicken stock. That is a really good way of saving five or ten dollars every time you have some extra bones. Make sure that you use them as much as you can. Now it's time for me to put the bowls together. I'm going to layer all of the ingredients. I even have some of the queso dip that I made in last week's video. I'll link that here in case you missed it. But this is a really delicious, healthy, nutritious meal that you really need to give a try. Okay, let's now talk about the most delicious salad that you could ever have. If you've ever gone to Chick-fil-A and had a market salad from there and paid like $12 for it, this is my take on that recipe and it, it could not be simpler but also more delicious. I'm gonna start by, again, attacking this poor rotisserie chicken. I'm just gonna take all of the skin off, chop it into chunks. I'm going to set that to the side and then I'm gonna prepare the rest of the ingredients. I've got some fresh strawberries. I'm gonna chop them up. I also have some blueberries. I'm gonna wash them and make sure that they're nice and clean, ready to go. I've got this spring mix salad. It is available at any grocery store. You can use whatever kind of lettuce you like, but 
I really like this kind of lettuce. And then I'm just going to top the lettuce with all of my favorite ingredients. The chicken, the strawberries, and blueberries. Also, I'm going to add some almonds, cranberries. I've got a little bit of blue cheese. I'm going to add that as well. I have some Monterey Jack cheese that's left over from last week. I'm going to add that. Any kind of good salad ingredient you can use in this salad and it will go perfectly. So just give this recipe a try. You're not going to be sorry. It's going to be absolutely delicious. It doesn't even need a salad dressing. It's so flavorful and moist. I just know it's going to be one of your new favorites. Okay, it's time to start dinner tonight. I'm going to have a quick and easy rotisserie chicken and rice soup. I have used some previous rotisserie bones to make this chicken broth. I think it really would be considered a chicken stock. But anyway, I've made that already. Previously made that in the crock pot. Super simple and easy. I'll put the recipe for that down below as well. We're going to use some eggs and some celery. Some mushrooms and rice. Going to chop up half of my rotisserie chicken. And we are going to get this dinner up and going and done in no time. You have several choices when it comes to chopping your celery. You can cut this part off and put it in your bag in the freezer and preserve it to make some be some vegetable broth with it at another time or you can add it to the soup. I think since I have a bag that's really nice and full and almost ready. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part off and put it in my vegetable scraps bag. But it will be just fine if you decide to put that in your soup. Same with this side, just to make it a little easier to chop. I'm gonna chop those ends off. I also have some onions that I had grown this spring. I'm, I've had them in the freezer. I'm going to chop them up as well, but just use whatever you have. If you have a fresh onion, that probably would work even better. I'm pretty sure they also sell a mixed bag of celery and onions in the frozen section. So that might also be a really easy and economical choice. I have some olive oil heating in my Dutch oven, so I'm going to just saute these vegetables in the Dutch oven and then cook the soup in here. I'm going to dice up one of these 8 ounce containers of mushrooms. You can buy them already sliced as well. It saved 10 cents for me to slice them myself and that was worth it to me. but. It might not have been the, the best option. You just get to make the choice. But I can also put these end pieces in my bag in the freezer to add depth and flavor to my vegetable broth. I didn't realize this, but a can of, vet, of mushrooms was the exact same price as a container of fresh mushrooms so I'm not sure why I would choose to buy an already processed can unless it was just for the fact that I wasn't going to be using it for a while but it's always good to check prices I thought that it would be much cheaper to purchase it in the can. I thought the can of mushrooms was like 69 cents, but I guess that's something that inflation has really hit hard because it was almost $2. I think I'm going to save these for the pizza that we're going to have later this week. I'm going to dry them off really good and preserve them in the refrigerator, and I will just add these to my soup. Okay, my celery and onions have cooked for about five minutes. I'm going to add about two teaspoons of salt. I'm going to add my mushrooms, which probably will be the equivalent of like six ounces of fresh mushrooms sliced. And then I have two cups of rotisserie chicken that I have just deboned and chopped. 
I will save those bones so I can make more chicken, chicken stock with them. And I have one cup of brown basmati rice. I really wanted to have wild rice. I'm going to have to find a source for wild rice that does not have a lot of extra ingredients. I was just looking at the box and I was not feeling good about all of the added ingredients that they put in the box of wild rice. So I'll be sure and continue looking for a better source for that wild rice. But until then, we'll just use this brown rice and it'll cook up just fine. And I need to add four cups of chicken broth. This was a pretty low fat version of my chicken broth. There wasn't a whole lot on the top. So I'm just gonna add it in, but you can skim off the fat if you would prefer. Because it was so little, I'll just leave it in and allow it to flavor and give a little bit more nutrition to the soup. So now what we need to do is cover it, let it simmer, let the rice cook up and be nice and tender, and then we will add our final couple of ingredients. Okay, let's see how everything is looking. I had to bring it to the back eye so that it would cook a little slower. It was boiling at the lowest setting. So all of the rice has cooked up. It's absorbed a lot of that chicken broth. So I think it's ready for our last step. And that is adding some scrambled eggs. This is a new technique to me. I've never made a soup with scrambled eggs before. Uh, I may have tried uh, egg drop soup, but it was a fail if I did. So. I had to look this up and see what the purpose of this was. It's uh, a Greek te technique for making soup. And it is really a replacement for dairy products. So that's really good to know. If you cannot have dairy, this is a good way to thicken soup without using dairy. So we're gonna use three eggs. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of lemon juice. Lemon juice probably would be better fresh, but this is what I had, so this is what we're gonna use. Mom, can I? You wanna help? Yep. Bring you a stool. Okay. I'm gonna stir this together. Mom, can I mix? Mom, can I? It's my minute. You can mix it. <laughs> Scramble it up. Mommy, why are you making? Making soup. I'm making soup. Yeah. Now you're making soup. Let me have this. And we're going to temper it by pouring maybe a quarter cup of this hot broth in with the eggs. And then we're going to take it over to the soup and we're going to add it in to the soup mixture. Okay, here we go. Now we're ready to add our eggs and lemon juice. We're going to add it. I've already lemon juice. Thank you. I'm going to add it sort of slowly. All right, I'm going to keep stirring until this is well combined broth and the eggs need to combine really well. We're going to wait for it to thicken and then it'll be done. While we wait, we can add a little bit of pepper. Add some salt. We've already added salt. You weren't here for that part. Um, it's a good idea though. Hey! This looks really good. Let's go. It looked good before the eggs, and it's looking really good now, too. I'm really excited about this. So let's give it a try. Are you ready to try this? I know. Do you think it's going to be yummy? Yeah. It's really thick. I think it probably could use uh, a little more broth. 
at the beginning, maybe five or six cups. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lane and I are gonna give it a taste test. Are you ready? No, I know I wanna give it a taste test. You will give it a taste test. Okay, I guess he doesn't wanna participate in our taste test. Let's see how it is. That is really good. You have got to try this recipe. This is the best chicken rice soup I've ever had. I'm so excited that I found this recipe. Well, that's all I have for today's video. I'm trying to begin our new two video per week schedule. So I've shortened this video and I will plan to have another video out on Monday afternoon. I hope that you will be sure and check that out. If you click that bell icon, it will be sure that you are notified when all new Homemade Simple videos are added to the channel. So I hope that you will be sure and check that before you leave today. Also, be sure to share all of your favorite fall recipe ideas. That's what we're gonna be talking Talking about in next week's videos so I hope that you will share those ideas with me maybe I can incorporate some of them in our meals next week as well thank you so much for being here today thank you so much for watching I hope you have a wonderful week I love you and I will see you again next time